All right, let's make a quick animation of a boat. Just ripping through the water, creating waves, making here a blender. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so I have here a cube, and that is not the shape of a, of a boat. So I'm going to get rid of that. X cube delete. There we go. I'm going to bring in a plane. And that's going to be my water there. Shift A, mesh, plane. There we go, plane. Let me make it bigger. I'm going to hit S, 15 enter. S, 15 enter. I just made it 15 times bigger. Boom. All right. So we're going to make this uh, animation using dynamic paint. So I'm going to go over here to the properties panel. And I'm going to click on physics. This one right here. Physics. Bam. All right. I'm going to click on dynamite, dynamic paint. All right. And I want to apply a property to it. I want it to be the canvas. So when using dynamic paint, I want a canvas and a brush. So a canvas is going to respond to the, um, the movement of the brush. I'm going to click add canvas. Cool. Right now, surface type is paint. That's like an actual canvas you can paint on it. But I don't want that. I want waves. I want to create waves right here. That one looks like a Wi-Fi signal. And there we go. And open borders. So when the waves hit the edge, they continue going. They don't bounce back. So I've got to open up them borders. All right. Now I'm going to take my plane to edit mode, tab key. And for the waves to appear, I need to have geometry here. I need something to bend. Because right now there's no vertices or edges here in, inside of it. So that's not going to bend. So I'm going to add a bunch in there. So I'm going to right click it. Select subdivide. Then I get a subdivide menu down over here. And then number of cuts. I'm going to increase that to 100. So depending on your computer, you have a strong graphics card. Go up higher. Go ahead and go for it. If uh, your computer starts to lag later with the 100, you're going to want to undo that part there. All right. So I'm going to go with the 100 here. That seems like a safe number. All right, so I got all the geometry there. Tab key for object mode. All right, I want a bow. I want a bow to come right through here. So let me go over to thingiverse.com, thingiverse, and I'll get a boat from there. I download an SEO file of a boat. I can try to create my own boat, or I can just download a boat. These are free to use right here. Let's see. I just type in boat in there. I keep thinking that Baby Yoda's flipping me off. I don't know why. Boats. <clears throat> they got battleships. They have steamboats. They have little tugboats. They have actual boats you can use. Let's see. This one's cute. I'm going to go with that one. All right. So here's a boat from Anentho. Anentho. Should I pronounce that name? Not sure. This is a remix of a 3D benching boat design. Boat. Boat design. All right. See what people got to say about that and click on comments. You can read them there. I'm going to download, download this one. Download all files. Tip designer. CC. All right. Creative Commons attribution license. All right. So there's the attribution. We're going to add that later into a YouTube video. All right. Came in a zip folder. Let's open that up. Got to unzip this one. Over here, uh, compressed folder tools. Extract all. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. Find it a lot quicker there. All right, cool. Unzip that onto the desktop there. Extract. Replace the font's destination. I got a bunch of stuff on there. And it's done. All right, cool. So I got that boat. And I'm going to bring it over into Blender over here. So I'm going to go over here to File. Import. That's an STL file. So I'm going to select STL. If I select any of these other ones, I'm not going to be able to find the boat. So I have to go with STL. There we go. It's on the desktop, so I'm going to click on desktop here. And if I downloaded it from Thingiverse, most likely it's going to be in a files folder right here. All right, cool. So there's boat right there and some other stuff. So double click boat STL. Cool, there it is. Humongous boat. What's it say back there? Lep cube. LEP cube. All right. S for scale. Move my mouse away from it. S, move the mouse inward. You get a good size. That looks good there. And bring it up along the uh, X axis there. G, X, pull it up. And I want the animation to go from left to right here. So I'm going to rotate it uh, along the Z axis, R. Actually, first, you see this uh, little yellow dot right here? It's going to spin with respect to that axis there. I don't want that. I want it to spin uh, somewhere with the center of it. So I'm going to right click my boat here. Set origin, center mass, surface, or volume. I'm going to go with surface. There we go. Either of those two will put that little yellow dot there, a little pivot point or the origin. 
I mean R Z, so I can rotate along the Z axis. 180, 180 there, and all right, cool. So then for top view, you try to eyeball it, try to put it there on the X, G X. Oh, sorry, G Y. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I need it to penetrate the water so I can create waves. Because if it's floating in the air, well, it's not gonna create waves. And boats don't fly, do they? I don't know. I've never seen a flying boat. G Z. Let me know if you guys have ever seen a flying boat. There we go. Boom. Maybe if I wanted to, I could even like tilt it up a little bit. All right, enough of that. Playing with your food, playing with your models. That's just how it is in my life. All right. Now I'm going to have it go across the water here. Let me record this movement. Let me turn on the record button here. I'm going to hit GX. Move it back a bit. There we go. And this is going to be a brush. So it's going to be doing the painting here or making the, uh, the canvas uh, react to it. So I already have the physics app here activated. I turned down uh, auto key in here earlier, just now. It's gonna come up, there we go. I turned that button on, hit GX, and I pulled my boat back, so record it where it's at right now here, frame one. You got a keyframe for that. Dynamic paint, and that's gonna be a brush. Brush, and I still have to click add brush here. Boom, now it's a brush. Let me zoom out there, all right. Now I'm gonna go over to the last frame, 250 here. I can add or, or subtract those frames. I'm okay with 250. This button here is for last frame. This one here is for first frame. I'm gonna G, X, so I can grab it and snap it to the X axis. Oh, see, you can kind of see already you left a hole there. And click there. Now I'm gonna record that I moved it there, actually. It's already recorded. I'm gonna turn it off. That way I don't record any other movements. There we go. And I'm gonna hit the play button so I can watch my animation there. Boom, we got the waves, look at that. Ooh, so you look a little pixelated, that's an easy fix. Select the plane, right click the plane, shade smooth. It'll smooth them out, look at that. Bam, look at that. Oh, I got water going inside my boat. I got a leak, I got a leak. I'll just pull the boat up a little higher. Let's see, G, Z. Let's see, do I still get the waves? No, I went back down. I was gonna turn off auto keen, so I'm gonna turn auto keen back on. G Z. And then play button there. There you go. So it's a little higher, so now it doesn't break the same. I'm gonna undo. Control Z undo. And undo again. Alright, let's see. Oh, I still want the strong waves. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna angle it so you can't even see in there. So when I create my animation, when I do the final render. I'm just going to choose an angle where you can't even see the uh, the back of the of the boat there. So you can't see if there's water back there. I don't want people to know that this this boat this boat is going to sink. Bell boat. All right, so we got that going on. Let me go over here to rendered. Create view of the final product. Cool. So it kind of looks like water, but water is not that color. Well, maybe in some parts of the world it is, but I like to think that in the U.S. U.S. of A. It, that's not that color. So I'm going to go over here to shade, select the plane. Select the plane. Over here on the workspaces, after you select the plane, you're going to click on shading. Boom. So I have this new window down here. This is the uh, node editor, image editor, and file browser. So this here is in the uh, material preview, the rent, uh, viewport shader. So that's a viewport shader. And over here, I'm going to do node shaders. There's node shaders, viewport shaders. Let me go over to, to the rendered. You per shader there. Cool. All right. Now down here, I'm going to click on new here. Or I can go to materials here. See, there's the same symbol right there. Materials on both. You click new here or new there, and you get this down here. You're going to get the notes for it. There it is. Boom. So this is telling Blender how that should look. So there's no color here applied to it yet. I'm going to create my own uh, water material for it using the note shaders down here. I'm going to click on this green one first. You know, because we're actually both selected. I don't know if you notice this one had like a red glow around it. It was like that. So left click the green one first. And then the same shortcuts you use up here will work down here as well. So I'm gonna hit the X here, delete key, delete it. There you go, by Felicia. Now I'm gonna bring in a mix shader. I'm gonna mix it up. You can see here now it's black, there's nothing there, right? So put the mouse down here and don't start clicking around because then you're gonna lose it. So keep the plane there selected. Mouse down here, shift A, search, mix. Mix shader. I'm not a DJ, but that'd be a cool job, no? And I'm going to connect these two right here. So I'm going to hold on the left mouse button on this green dot and then drag across. There you go. It's going to snap to it. See, so it kind of snaps to them. 
So shader to surface. There we go. There's still no color. This is just a mixer. A mixer mixes two different materials. Uh, I'm gonna bring in refraction. So shift A, search, refraction. Start typing in refraction, and there we go. Refraction BSDF. And once you bring something in, it's already selected. Bring the mouse up here, left click to drop it. Cool. Now I'm gonna connect this green dot to the top shader up here. There we go. Now I'm gonna bring one called glossy. So shift A, go up to search, and just type in glossy. Glossy BSDF, click. Let me show you guys again, shift A. I can try to look for it through here. It's actually a lot easier if you just click on search and just start typing in the name of the shader. Oops, I didn't want that. Execute delete. There we go. So I'm gonna collect the, uh, connect these two here. Hold on, left mouse button, drag across, snaps to it. There we go. All right, uh, for color, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Roughness, I'm gonna bring it up a bit. This is how smooth or uh, reflective it is. IOR, the IOR of water, index of refraction is 1.33. Is it a bunch of threes? I'm not sure, it's gonna do that there. Uh, roughness, your glass, you can bring this one down to zero as well. There we go, oh, look, it's already re reflective there. So it's gonna make it smoother, it's not as rough. So you can think of zero roughness as metallic, mirror, glass. Where the roughness is higher, you can think of something that's not reflective at all. All right, cool. Let me go back over here to layout. Hit the play button. You can kind of see the waves. Looks kind of weird. I'm going to bring something in. It's called an HDRI file. I'm going to go download it first. And it'll, um, it'll be like a background here, like an environment image. It's a 360 picture. And that'll give me something to reflect off the water, and then you'll get reflective properties. In Blender, if you want to make something reflect, look reflective, you have to give it something to reflect off of it. So there's this cool website that I like to use, and it's free. HDRIHaven.com. There we go. And they don't require attribution, unlike uh, Homeboy over here and Intel. So I'm going to give them credit later in the, uh, in the YouTube video. All right, here you go. HDRIHaven.com. And I can get these 360 pictures here, HDRIs. Yeah, but I think over 200 pictures. And I want, I want something with water. Something with water. So I'm gonna make it look like we're out at the lake or something. So I can try scrolling through here. Does any of these see water? Isn't there a search engine up here? And I'm just gonna move the mouse here, see what I get. I want a body of water, a lake, an ocean something let's go with the uh, outdoor uh, let's see here river let's try river cool that's not bad let's see that one looks uh you know i can make it like a toy tugboat and have it go through there there's some in here that have um lots of water or half of the image is water. Let me try this one right here. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is kind of dark. I like some with a lot of lighting. So I'm gonna go with this one here. All right, blue grotto. All right, and scroll down. And I can download these different uh, quality images here. I'm gonna go with the 4K right here. It's not too big of a file. All right, it's loading there. I'm gonna go back over here to Blender. In the meantime, I can actually just color my bow here. There it is. Let me go over here to materials, new, and I kind of want to make it blue. Let's go with the blue color. Let's see. There we go. That looks cool. Like I said, I'm going to hide that right there. So I don't want anybody talking trash about that water. You won't even notice it. All right. So that one's done downloading. Oops. There it is. All right. So I'm going to put it on the desktop because Blender will not allow you to access that file from the downloads folder. I'm just going to drag it over to the desktop. Here it is. Drag and drop. Bam. Back to Blender. I'm going to bring that in. Uh, to bring that in, I'm going to go over here to the material. Sorry, properties panel. I'm clicking on little world right here, the red planet. There we go. So this is for the worlds for the background. See that color right there? That's the color of that. I can click on it. So you get a color wheel. I can make it blue, but then it bounces off everything. So instead, I'm going to click on this rivet here. And I'm going to go over here to environment texture. Environment texture. That's what I want to do. 
Okay, so now I'm ready to bring in the HCRI file. So I'm gonna click right here on open and I'll put it on my desktop. So desktop here, and I don't remember the name of the file. There it is. But I do remember this. I know it, I, I do know this. I know it ends in HDR, but that's my file there. Double click it in and give it like a second to load and it'll get rid of this pink stuff. There we go. Cool, looks dark, but there we go. Look, see, you can see the water ripples in there. And let me uh, change something over here. I'm going to file. And then I'm going to go over here to external data. And I'm going to click automatically pack into dot blend. Then when I save this, it'll save that uh, that HRI file into my blender file as well. All right. So let me try to look for a good angle here for my water. Maybe something like, let's see. So I want to, I want to angle it. So you kind of can't tell that that's the edge of the plane there. And that also, um, I don't know if I want to see that. That's not going to be moving, so you're going to tell, you're going to be able to tell it's a picture. Maybe something like this, an angle like this, and you go down, so I can't see the water there. Let me go to frame one over here, hit the play button. I should probably zoom out. There you go. I can see the ripples there already. There you go. It looks a lot like water. Let's see. So pause it, frame one. Let me zoom out, and I'll start about right there. That's the bottom of the plane. So I don't want to get that shot in there. Let me start out with like uh, around here. Hit the play button. And you can see some water there. Oh, 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 oh. Zoom in some more. All right, play button. The ball should appear soon. There we go. Cool. I saw a little bit, but it's not that noticeable. So I'm going to go with that. Um, you, I could always just use another boat as well. I can go back into Thingiverse, download another boat. I just want to go with the boat, uh, boat that's appropriate with the scene. So let's say, for instance, I brought in a battleship. Um, I don't think a battleship's going to be in here in a grotto, right? So I have to go with something that looks like it's out in the ocean. All right, so I like this view, so I'm going to pause it. I'm going to make this my camera view, Control, Alternate, Zero. There we go. All right, so I want it a little further back. I'm going to go up here to... Animation, workspace, animation. Here's my camera view. Let me switch over to rendered here. All right, let me zoom out of there. I like that now. Let's see, click that one, send for top view. All right, let me pull it back. So I selected the camera there. I'm gonna hit G for grab, pull it back a bit more. Let's see if I can get some ripples in there. Let me try uh, right there. All right, so when the animation starts playing, uh, the ball will soon pop off will pop in after that actually that's not close enough because that's not um um that wasn't at frame one so now the boat is where all right not far off i can always rotate it as well i can hit rz and rotate the camera more this way but i'll leave it uh i'll leave it where it was at let me hit the play button see what the camera sees over here there's a little boat i got some waves Cool. All right, I'm gonna pause that. And well, I can leave it playing. Let me go back over here to layout. Position my camera. I'm gonna render my animation. And what will appear my what will what will appear in my final render? It's anything inside this frame here. All right. So I'm gonna go over here to render. And I can activate this other stuff here, like bloom. You get a little bit of a glow there. That's from the light. Let's see how that looks. Let it loop around. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. Ambient occlusion. Give it some of that fuzzy look. Uh, these work a lot better. You get a, a lot better look if you have the um, if you have a brighter scene. So I'm gonna leave that one on, and I'm gonna turn on uh, motion blur. I'm gonna turn on volumetrics, and I'm gonna go down here into not not, not volumetrics. Uh, there's one called refractions. Refractions is where. Let's see, subsurface space scattering. Oh, it's right here. Screen space refractions. Activate that one. That was not on by default. I turned mine on. Refraction. There we go. And that'll give it more of that reflective look there. All right, cool. So activate that one. Open up that menu and activate refraction there. All right, so I'm ready to go. Uh, I need to change it from PNG to AVI JPEG. That way I get a video file. I don't have to make these uh, other mini files. Uh, heads up, uh, the more of these you activate, the longer it's going to take to render, but you also get a better quality image. All right, back to output. Give me a JPEG. I'm going to click on the folder here. 
so I can tell it where to save it to and um, what to name it. Let's see, tugboat. Actually, I have no idea what kind of boat that is. Tugboat, kind of looks like a fishing boat. It's that old school Mickey Mouse cartoon boat. Tugboat on water. My computer's already starting to lag. I can feel it. It's going a little slower there. Except, our right, cool, desktop. That's going to be the name of the file there. That's where it's going to render out. Now, Control F12. Let it render out. And then, uh, and that's it. Let's wait for the video to render out. Uh, in some cases, if the animation is very complex, you might want to do this uh, right before you go to bed. <laughs> Let it render, check on it in the morning, hopefully it's done, but this should not stress out your computer that much. Let me zoom out from here. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's like about five seconds of frame. So five times 250. It's at uh, 1,250. Uh, 1,250 frames, or sorry, seconds. But that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Have an awesome day.